What's up my plant people? So I've seen quite a few of the beautubers, beautubers, beauty youtubers that I watch um, and they have made their way into the world of plants. So I'm going to do a little bit of the reverse and I'm going to make my way into the world of beauty. So I have eyebrows here drawn on, but they're not mine. My natural eyebrows are very light. So I wanted to take a minute today and tint them. And I thought I would take you guys with me. And uh, let's just see how this goes. See if we can make me look like Groucho Marx. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go clean the makeup off my face to make sure I have a good clean palette to start with and then I will come back to you and we will commence to tint my eyebrows. All right, so I'm back and I'm fresh faced. I have nothing on my face right now. So I'm going to be using Just For Men medium to dark brown. We're going to tint these puppies, make them darker, and hope to God I really don't look like Groucho Marx because that won't be cool. So, thank goodness I don't see many people in the job I work at right now. All right, so I've got this little brush here. It's got the angle at the end. I'm gonna use that to actually apply the color Nice thing, it's got a little spoolie, so I can kind of brush things into place where I want them before I put the color in. So, those of you who were born and raised in the 90s, you know, you overplucked. If you plucked, you probably overplucked because the very thin, <laughs> singular lined brow was where it was at. And I've been struggling, what is this, 2020? 20 years I've been struggling to get these puppies to grow back, probably, probably more like 10. I've been struggling to get these to grow in some because, you know, I was stuck in the 90s for a good part of the beginning of the 2000s. And uh, I've been struggling to try and get them to grow back in some. And they don't grow in very well at all, I'll be honest. So I'm going to try tinting them. I've seen a lot of people do this online and theirs come out beautifully. So... Let's hope that mine do too. All right, so I'm gonna actually go around the outside of my brows with a little bit of concealer to block off the area that I don't want the color on um, because my understanding is this will stain your skin really quickly. So let's just shape them up. Oh my goodness. Now I think the real trick that I'm going to run into while doing this will be making them twins. Sisters are okay, but twins are much better. Just ask Raw Beauty Christy. I watch her all the time. She tells you all about the sisters and twins. Sometimes hers don't even end up in the same family. and That's my biggest concern right now, that I'm gonna look like I got, you know, Taisha over here and Bridget on this side. <laughs> I'll probably cut that part out. Hey, you don't need that. So I've got my uh, assistant sitting off to the side over there. He's not really assisting, but. I'm getting along with this, I'm just gonna be honest. She's pretty. <laughs> She's so pretty. All right. She's so pretty. <laughs> Moment of truth, people. We're just gonna see how this goes. Okay, so you got a little mixing tray here. All right. 
the color base, color developer, and I will not be using this to apply. As I said, we're gonna use that brush because it's got a good angle and I figure I can get in there pretty nicely with it. Okay, so according to the instructions, actually I think I'm gonna go get a different little cup. I think this is too big. Be back. I think this will look better. All right, so according to the destructions, for best results, mix product with the plastic end of the brush until thoroughly blended. Do not mix with the bristle end. An unmixed product may get stuck in the bristles. Wipe ends of tomb, replace caps. Okay, so these are reusable, that I have heard. So that's a good thing, I can do this multiple times. Um, to avoid getting product on the skin, put some petroleum jelly around the beard line. Well, that's what the concealer was for because I watched people doing this and they were using petroleum jelly and I couldn't, I on my end of the camera could not see where their lines were so they kept, and I thought it was very hard to see where their brows really were. So I kept feeling like there was a lot of room for error with the petroleum jelly. So I did see a few people do this. I thought it looked better because I mean, obviously you can see more of what you're doing. You've got an outline. All right, so away we go. I'm just going to use a little, not much at all. Because they are eyebrows, not a whole lot of hair. I'm going to use the same amount of developer. Spatula end of the brush. And away we go. Got some color on the brush. And I'm just going to apply this just like I do my regular powders, shadows, whatever product I decide to use in my brows that day. I'm going to go backwards in a little bit just to make sure that I'm coating the underside of the hairs. As good as possible. And she wants to be real pretty. Okay, so. Not that you can tell much of a difference, but I've got it all throughout my brow there. Alright. On to the other side. be honest, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous that uh, this is either going to be too dark or just not look good or, you know. There's lots that can go wrong here. Hey Siri, set a countdown timer for five minutes. Good to go. Boom. Oh. Do you see how much darker this one is than this one? It's a little scary. We're looking good. We're looking good. Very Groucho Mark esque on this side. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go out like this for the rest of the day. What you think? What do you think? I think your eyebrows will burn off if you don't wash that stuff out of it. Oh, probably. Yeah. Probably. I almost asked where's my phone. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Does, is it me or is this one getting darker so much faster? Had the product in longer. 
Just let it ride, babe. Will you do me a favor? No, I already set the timer. In the bathroom are my rounds and my little bottle of micellar water. So I can wipe this off when it's done. Oh, and bring me the baby wipes. They're under the sink. Oh, yeah, babe. No problem. You Thanks. Can I get a grocery basket to help? If you really want to. Your fucking makeup. Wow, babe. So angry. So angry. Oh, look, you're wonderful. And you brought everything all at once. Here, let me just fold this up out of the way. There you go. Whoa, hey, stop. Don't be violent. <laughs> Is it that funny? I definitely feel like I need to remove this eye and then give this one another like 60 seconds. Like two minutes? Because you did, it took like two minutes to apply that first. Did it? Did you count it? No. Oh, my phone is dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so since his phone died, and I'm a little nervous, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I need to know five minutes. not bad but this one's definitely darker so I'm gonna reapply on this eye and this eye only and I'm gonna let it sit see Give me two and a half minutes on the timer. Hey Please. Siri, can I have a two minute, 30 second countdown timer? Your timer is set for two minutes. Are you gonna die this time, Siri? That's his fault, not the phones. Tell the people how important it is to take your time and lay out your foundation so you don't. Oh yeah, this is true. Okay, so. <sighs> You saw me apply the foundation around. I was super careful just to make sure I got right around the very edge of my eyebrows. Some of the ladies that I watch actually shave their like entire face. So there's none of those little peach fuzz hairs that normal people have. I have yet to hurdle myself into that part, but uh, I'm sure I'm headed there because I'm really digging it. <laughs> I just haven't made it that far yet. So, um, I did pluck everything before this this morning. And actually, I trimmed my brows because this part of my brows is really long. So, I trimmed it. And uh, unfortunately, I did a horrible job of trimming it. So, as I do this, I'm going to have to deal with, contend with letting them grow back out some. And then, I trimmed them in a hurry. I'm going to be honest. I trimmed them in a hurry and I shouldn't have done it this morning and we were running late as it was. And for some reason I decided it was a good idea. Oh, timer. I decided it was a good idea to trim them before we left this morning. And uh, maybe that wasn't the best idea. I'm still going to have to fill a little because this one is definitely more sparse than that one is. Not bad. It definitely made them darker. So I'm actually going to go put my makeup on and uh, 
I'll check back in with you guys when it's done. All right, so you tell me, are they twins? Sisters? Honestly, looking at them as I see them right now, they don't even look like they belong in the same family. <laughs> That's just me, so. Neighbors. Let me know. Yeah, neighbors, maybe? <laughs> Distant cousins? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like this one's definitely darker um, and thicker. So I don't know if it's because I went with such a dark product or what, but I will try this again and hopefully next time. I don't feel so, because I really do at this point feel like Groucho Marx. I feel like my eyebrows are super thick, super bold, and it's making me very nervous. Thank goodness it's temporary and it doesn't last very long, but. I like it. Here we are. So if you guys like this kind of content, definitely give me a thumbs up. If uh, you want to see more of this kind of stuff, let me know down in the comments. Tell me what kind of stuff you guys would like to see. I'm open to do whatever, anything. Well, not quite anything, but you know. <laughs> Keep it within reason, people. Keep it within reason. Um, definitely hit me up in the comments down below. If you like what you see, subscribe. Uh, bring your friends. Let's hang out. We'll do all kind of good stuff. So, one more time for you. It's okay. It'll work. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to uh, hear from you down in the comments and we'll see you again soon. Peace out. So I'll give you a montage like the real YouTubers do. You ready?